Fazio for any opening statement he may have. Uh, thank you for the courtesy, Mr. Chairman. And I am going to deviate from my prepared remarks for a few moments here. Uh, in light of uh, the horrific accident uh, last evening where six people lost their lives and more than 140 were injured, our hearts and prayers go out uh, to the family and, and friends of those uh, involved and hope for a speedy recovery of those who are injured. Uh, we obviously don't know the cause uh, at this point. Uh, we always depend upon the good works of the NTSB uh, to uh, bring, bring that result to us, and I look forward to learning and finding out uh, what we can do to mitigate or prevent uh, future accidents. Uh, we do know a little. It was a shared section of track. Uh, so uh, that is, you know, the beginnings of, uh, you know, understanding where and, and how these things happen, but we don't know other much else at this point. However, I will observe, I find it very, very ironic that as we sit here, over there somewhere, wherever the uh, appropriations lords sit, uh, they are proposing to cut $290 million from the Amtrak capital grants program. Uh, I would say that that program is already somewhat insufficient since Amtrak has a $21 billion state of good repair backlog. And, you know, it is deteriorating every year. And at the current level of investment, if the appropriators don't cut it, uh, it will take about 25 or 30 years uh, to get it up to a state of good repair. And that doesn't deal with some other major projects that would facilitate rail movement, let alone make it safer and in a state of good repair. Uh, so I would hope uh, that our uh, friends on the Appropriations Committee are cognizant of the real world out there. Uh, of what happened last night, uh, of what the capital needs of Amtrak are, and will not engage in a short-sighted uh, budget cutting in an area where we already have a $21 billion backlog. Uh, there were two issues, and I will submit my full testimony for the uh, uh, full opening statement for the record that I really wanted to focus on, short-line investments and uh, uh, tariffs or the potential for tariffs.